Hey, I'm Taylor Matthews, and you're watching the Permanent Rain Press. When it comes to you, I refuse to Hey guys, so today I am here with singer-songwriter Taylor Matthews. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. It's a really beautiful day in Vancouver. Okay, so let's start by talking about your childhood. Growing up, did you always have a passion for music? I did. Actually, my, my dad uh, played in little bars and clubs whenever he was growing up and um, actually paid his way through college um, by doing uh, music and paid my mom's way through college for a couple years. and. Uh, so uh, we've always had like a really huge interest in music in, in our family and I was the last of the three children that actually um, succeeded in learning an instrument and singing. So uh, ever since then we've kind of been developing and, and growing uh, deeper as a family through music. So I'm sure you took that passion with you to America's Got Talent. Mm -hmm. I remember you from the fifth season. You were sporting a different look back then, longer yes. hair. But Shaggy. Maybe, uh, <laughs> similar sound mm -hmm. what positives did you take from your time on the show um i know that like fame and everything is fleeting you know it uh it really comes down to you can you can appear on tv all day and and do that whole thing um but the thing that really truly matters is whenever you're in front of somebody you're actually playing a song and like in person face to face is whenever something re really set in the feeling of like um actually doing something right in life. You, you understand what that is whenever you're you're actually in the presence of somebody instead of like just playing on TV. So. Um, speaking back about your family, I know your dad was there at your first audition, so that must be a nice moment to replay. Yeah, yeah, actually uh, we're about to end up the tour in Los Angeles and uh, that's gonna be my dad's first time ever seeing uh, my apartment in Los Angeles, ever coming out to Los Angeles period, ever since I moved there two years ago. So it's been like a really, uh, uh, this tour has just been magical as far as um, opening up the door in Canada. Every night there's like 800 people singing, kind of feeling, and then uh, ending off the tour with, with seeing my dad in LA for the first time. It's going to be a really uh, cool coming home gift. So. Fast forward to around two and a half years later from America's Got Talent, mm -hmm. you've released your debut EP, yep. a music video, currently touring North America. Mm -hmm. Not a bad couple of years. Not bad at all, no. Yeah, and we're actually, uh, to give you guys a heads up, we actually just launched Kickstarter today, which is the same platform that we use to uh, make the Header for Filling music video happen. Um, so it's essentially a way for fans to uh, be involved in, in the, uh, the making of the record. So they actually become the investor, become the label, and they donate money to, uh, and they get rewards in return, like going out and I make them a chocolate cake, or like they come to the listening party when I, whenever I first unwrap the record or like uh, they get the exclusive I Am The Record t-shirt or something like that. It's a really cool uh, prizes, but it puts us face to face with each other and we're actually going to, since I don't have a label, we're gonna make the record together, like the people that support me and um, the rest of my crew. That's great. Uh, it's always nice to see artist fan interaction. Totally. So with your music in general and your EP, where do you tend to draw your inspiration from? Definitely love. Actually, I watched The Great Gatsby last night and I cried like a baby. Yeah. I'm like a huge Hitler fan. emotional. <laughs> yeah. Um, care to elaborate anymore? Yeah, no, I mean, it's just like, uh, I love, I love love. And it's one of those things that, like, it's universal. Anybody can, can you know, feel it and uh, anybody can connect to it. So I feel like singing about that is, is what is going to bring the community together. And people are actually going to come together as more of a family, caring about each other. So. The Loud Tour. Off the top of your head, name the top two moments you've had thus far. Oh my gosh. Just, I mean, first off, coming to Canada and, and seeing people like love Head Over Feeling so much. I've never had that many people sing along to one of my songs, so it means a lot. Um, secondly, uh, goodness, there's just so many great moments here. Um, I experienced my first A&W root beer today, like I said earlier which is a pretty monumental moment to, to most of my friends. Um, but uh, I don't know, there's just, there's not really one, we're in and out of Beach City so fast and like, there's so many like great things that we get done. I, I can't really come down to one moment specifically that was like the greatest. Um, aside from like Canada singing along, that's just like unreal to me. Yeah. Love every part of it, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so we have a couple of fan questions that okay. were submitted through Twitter. Cool. What do you first notice of a, a girl or in a girl? Um, their smile 
I think is like one huge thing and uh, their eyes. I think you can find a lot in people's eyes like to figure out exactly um, how their heart is. I don't know, it's just like it's one of those things that you can just kind of tell. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I mean, naturally, you're gonna f first like notice like the looks, but then like once you get past the looks, like it's personality that like matters the most, and that's what makes a girl attractive or not. So. And who is your favorite Disney princess? Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh. uh I would definitely have to say. Um, what is that girl for Tangled? Well, now I watch it. Um. Rep Rapunzel? Rapunzel, yeah. Something Rapunzel is my favorite. I love Rapunzel. I love that whole movie. It just, yeah. Rapunzel is definitely my favorite Disney princess. And lastly, we'd like to wrap things up with our signature question. If you could be any ice cream flavor, which would you be and why? If I could be any ice cream flavor. Birthday cake ice cream flavor. It's like Hershey's makes it. And it's like the bomb. I don't know, I just feel like I'm always like, it, it's a celebratory like ice cream. Like you eat that ice cream because you just like did something great. Every day is your birthday. Yeah, every day is my birthday, that's it. That's perfect. <laughs> awesome. So thank you so much, Taylor, for doing this interview with us. Make sure you check out his EP, Head Over Feeling. Um, we'll be posting all of his social media links below. Check them out. And his Kickstarter link as well, help him fund his new music. Yeah. And thanks for watching.